Okay, nth term of, first of all, a linear sequence and then a quadratic. I'll show you why you know which one's which in a minute. But with any sequence, we're trying to find the nth term. We start off by just looking at the differences between the numbers. Now, if the number you get when you find the difference between the values in the sequence is the same each time, that's what we call a linear sequence because it goes up by the same each time. Now, that number is what this sequence is, is based on. So it's the five times table. So if we write the five times table above the numbers, hopefully you'll spot a really straightforward sequence there where we've got to just add one to the five times table. So it's the five times table, which is 5n. And then we've got to add one to get 5n plus one for two marks. There's one mark for the 5n and there's one mark for the plus one. Most common wrong mistake is people just put n plus five because that's what you that's the term to term rule but not the um, position to term rule or the nth term. Work out the nth term of this sequence. So what's it going up by each time? Well, this one's going up by six and then eight and then 10 and then 12. So that's not linear because it's increasing. Look at the differences between those numbers and we do get a linear well we get a number that stays the same it's going up by two now if the second difference goes up by two that is based on n squared if the second difference went up by four that would be based on two n squared and so on the second difference goes up by six it's three n squared and if it's a, just one that'd be half n squared but this usually is just n squared so one four nine sixteen twenty five is what it's going up by Okay, let's have a look at what the difference is between that and this. So this is going up, we're going to have to add 8 there, we're going to have to add 11 here, we're going to have to add 14, and then 17, and then 20. So that, what we've got to add, is not linear. Uh, sorry, that what we've got to add is linear. It's going up by the same number each time, but let's just try and tie this up a little bit. This is the n squared numbers. Now we're trying to find out what we've got to add to n squared, which is this set of numbers. So 8, 11. And I'm just going to do that over here separately. 8, 11, 14, 17, 20. Now this sequence is linear because it goes up by 3 each time. So this is based on the 3 times table. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And hopefully we can see that you've got to add five to that sequence to get this one. Okay, so this is the three N sequence. And then we've got to get, we've got to add five to that. So this is the three N plus five sequence. This is what we want to add to N squared. So we've got N squared, then we've got three N plus five. We're adding those two together to get N squared plus three N plus five. Okay, um, there's four marks there. You get uh, one for realizing the second difference is two, um, one for getting this sequence, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, um, one for getting uh, n squared plus 3n, and the final mark for getting a plus 5 on the end.